Well, thanks for taking time to talk to us. Uh, you're on a bunch of shows that we love, um, especially Better Call Saul. Um, so I know we're headed into the last bit of Better Call Saul. Um, talk, uh, talk a little bit about your experience uh, on the show and, you know, uh, kind of, I know you can't tell too many details, but, you know, a little bit of what we can expect for Victor. Yeah, no, so this last series, uh, just being on Better Call Saul has been amazing. And I guess from the start, um, not really knowing where, where they were going to go uh, with it and then following along I kind of thought we maybe brought in towards the end of the show you know um, but to be a pivotal point towards the center of the series and then running throughout it's been pretty amazing so yeah at this point um, you know over the last year it took a year to film the, the last series and um, it, it was as always awesome feels like a gift coming back every time and uh and now it's like, you know, just to kind of enjoy the show. And um, I think everyone feels a little bit of relief, you know, that it's done. It's in the can. We got through a crazy uh, time pandemic and everything. And then, um, you know, Bob's better. We're all happy for that. So it's just, uh, you know, sitting back and enjoying it. Just, just, like, just like you and just like everyone else, like a fan at this point, you know? Sure, sure. Uh, what's it like getting to those scripts? I mean, you, they must be like, you know, kind of un unwrapping a bomb or something. <laughs> like, <what's> yeah. Next? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, I think, you know, of course I, I wasn't getting them before um, our storyline was brought back in, but um, once, you know, I started reading and kind of going through my first episode, which was in uh, season three, it, it was pretty amazing, you know, pretty amazing to, to to read and see how at that point kind of where they were crafting it you could feel that it was going to be that same type of energy and attention that we got from Breaking Bad at least that I could feel but character wise I, I love just the ingenuity and how this crew how crafty they were and uh, you know you always wonder how, how are you going to rein in a bull like uh, like Mike and um and they, the way they did it and the way they did everything was just was was really believable and the same thing with with michael you know with um i'm sorry nacho uh bringing his his character in and putting him under the thumb it there's it, it, just such an oppressing uh, opposing character and, and, and storyline that gus ring provides in that we're all kind of just getting everyone by their, uh, by their horns. It's, it's been amazing. Yeah. So talk a little bit about the experience of, of working with Giancarlo Esposito and Bob Odenkirk. What were some of the moments that you might remember uh, looking back on this experience? Oh, wow. Uh, that's a great question. I would say, you know, that, um, that first episode of, season three for me coming back and then you know of course uh mike um, um john uh, jonathan banks was there and he was welcoming me to set and just saying hey man you know we're we're back you know it's the, the gift that keeps giving and uh happy to have you and um i think we're gonna have some great things in store and then um you know getting to know michael um he, he's been became a, a good friend and we've we've spent a lot of time and uh and just knowing how how intently he carried his character and and uh you know there's there, there's been a lot there our own journey you'd never think like we were uh you know friends off screen when you see what we do on screen and then um you know of course bob bob is was was amazing and having to like wear so many hats and um i think that there's times where i believe we went into the yoga one night and, and sat on the roof one of the roofs downtown and just drank kombucha and, and did a little yoga and that was cool i mean those are the moments i think that stuck out you know um just just uh, uh, those off-screen moments but there's also tony dalton and and Michael and a few other actors one time we went go-karting and um that was that was a lot of fun so I mean there's there's all these little memories that I'm sure I'll just marinate on and think about you know a long time yeah. to come 
Um, do you have maybe talk, give me something that's from some from a show that's aired uh, a favorite scene of the experience of working on the show? Uh, with Saul? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, for me, like one of the most beautiful um, uh, episodes that I was able to be a part of that something beautiful, the way that they shot that, the way that it started. This is, of course, when we're staging uh, the ambush and staging Michael Mando's, uh, you know, shooting his character, shooting Nacho. That was just it was so beautiful and so um, dark and matter of fact. You know, and we just had a lot of fun on that day. I remember as well. Um, uh, Arturo, the character that that um, was at that point dead, we we were having fun. You know, poking at him, and and he was in complete looked like we were teasing him. He looked like Walking Dead, like he looked like a zombie at that point. Um, but you know, there's I'd say that was a definitely a standout moment and a standout uh, episode. You know, one that I really, uh, I thought they pulled off amazingly.